So we finally got an answer with the Battle Pass controversy as the patch has finally come out today that makes the Season 7 leveling revert to the speed of Season 6 or as close as it possibly can be considering the new systems. But we also got hooked up with 10 additional Battle Pass levels for free. So upon updating and logging in, you should be 10 levels higher on your Battle Pass. But along with a patch like this, we typically get a bunch of leaks and other information. And today is no difference as we know what Gibraltar's heirloom is going to be. But first, if you enjoy the channel, take the time to like this video. And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And considering we're going to be talking about an heirloom today, it's only fitting that we definitely bring up the 4,350 Apex coin giveaway. And all you got to do to enter that giveaway is head over to Pwnhub.live where you will find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries. But guys, it's pretty simple. The season started and we got some interesting information almost right away as usual. And this time around, we actually got some quest leaks that seemed to show some speculative information about what Gibraltar's heirloom could be. And then we had some, you know, leaks in the public that actually showed the weapon a little bit up close, but it wasn't quite mm, high quality. And then finally today, Shrugtul went ahead and dug out the actual Gibraltar heirloom for us to take a peek at. Now, obviously, this is another axe, and we've already got one axe in the game, but I mean, hey, we've got multiple knives and potentially multiple more knives coming over the future. So it's not weird that they reused something in a sense. And if you think about it, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the Tanfa were going to be dual wield for uh, Bangalore, considering the shock sticks. And, and then if you actually look, like the knives all carry a similar model in terms of the bone structure of the knife to handle a blade. And then the axe is very, very reminiscent of Gibraltar's axe. So talking about two very similar model ideas here that can be reused quickly and in a very pinch situation cause some, you know, hype in the game. Now, we can clearly tell that Bangalore was supposed to be getting an heirloom here in relatively sooner than Gibraltar, but Gibraltar looks to have been pushed ahead simply because of the whole political correctness and woke movement that we have going on. And if you want to learn more about that, we have Bangalore's canceled heirloom here, and you can find out more about that in that video if you feel like it. But... It does appear that we will be having a glowing laser-like axe effect here on the end. Something very similar, if you will, to the Bloodhound uh, Raven's Bite. So I know a lot of people were looking for Gibraltar's War Club. And I've said this before, and I will continue to say it again. If you've seen the character do it in a, as a finisher, or you've seen him do it in an animation in a trailer the chances are that is not going to be the heirloom with some things you know caveated to the side if you will so like there are some caveats here like for instance it's very much likely that we would see revenant get his razor and we did see raven's bite after its release in a trailer after its release but it was actually not a trailer but a story from the outlands now, what I don't think we'll see, though, is also things that are already on the character themselves. So people were thinking that Caustics would have been one of his gas cans on his side. That's not one of the canisters on his side. It's just not a good heirloom. It's already there on the character. Why would you need another one? So there's a lot to be said about why they don't use that. And if you look at the traditional Maori war club, it is really just plain it's a plain piece of wood i mean they could do accents to it but then it wouldn't be the one that he's swinging in his finisher and that's kind of what we have now is the axe is still that same kind of you know patu war club maori war club kind of setup going on that you see previously but obviously not quite what it, we would have thought it was so this gives it at least some particle effects and some uh you know flair to it to make it look a little bit better but drop a comment down below what do you think about gibraltar's heirloom 
Is it cool enough for the big man to rock around? Do you think you will be looking to get this? Are you even a thick boy main? Let me know in the comment section down below as you guys enjoy this video game play here with our boy Revengeful as on this one ends pretty epically. Okay, this has an epic ending. Not the most exciting action-packed game you've ever seen in your life, I'm sure. But the end is worth watching, so stay and wait for the end. I promise you, you will love this one. But in the meantime, if you're not busy and you want to hook me up with a huge, huge favor, head over to one of these social media links. Give it a follow, a like, a favorite, whatever the platform's lingo may be. And I will greatly appreciate it. But also... If you want to head on over to the Twitch channel and give a follow or a Twitch Prime sub, go ahead and do so. We got some pretty epic emotes over there that you will probably enjoy if you are, in fact, a Twitch fan. But that's all stuff that you can do if you feel like it. If not, don't worry about it. But, yeah, as I was saying, we got a pretty epic ending here as I had some really good games with Revengeful and Icy Ops over the course of the last uh, couple days. And we... And one day in particular, we had a really nice nine game win streak. So now we're doing, uh, you know, content with these awesome videos. As you see me trying to snipe a person with a havoc. That's right. I was just without without the select fire because it's a gold havoc and the gold weapons here on Olympus are great. But the ending, like I said, is clutch because we decided not to be jerks in this one. All right. So when we got up here and found this guy with none of his loot on sitting here, well, I decided that we would go ahead and have us a Kung Fu fight. Now, obviously, he had his shield on and doesn't react until I've actually already damaged him. But he probably should have just fought me. I probably could have beat him, to be honest with you. So as I said, this one ends in a real epic fashion with a boxing match proving that the kunai is far superior to the fists of a poor legend that does not have an heirloom. But as usual, guys, here is two videos that you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one.